Hey everybody, I wanted to show you what I'm up to today. There's a whole new project <laughs> on this garage bill or garage workshop. So I'm standing in the carport. This carport is connected to the front of that old garage. And there's all the junk that I pulled out of the garage that I've got to <clears throat> find a place, find a, I don't know, haul it to the dump or whatever. Most all of that. Anyway, you see these uprights here. One, two, and three. They all had outlets on them. And on the other side, there's the same thing. Now, the way I understand it is the people that owned this before, the guy had this carport enclosed and it was kind of like a wood shop. He had a bunch of equipment plugged into these. But these three on this wall were wired together but not wired to anything else. I think it's brand new. Even though it doesn't look brand new, it's disgusting. It's covered with cobwebs and dirt. I don't think it's ever been wired up and used but the intent was there at some point so I've got wire going between the three outlets this one that was on this pole I've removed and the same thing here you can see the screw holes I've removed them and the wiring and I'm taking it over to this side of the garage uh, carport this wire kind of right by the front edge is 12 gauge that comes from the house <clears throat> and it's buried uh, underground comes in goes to this old breaker box this happens to be two 20 amp breakers everything in this garage is 20 is 12 gauge wire which will carry 20 amps I double checked that I said on a video earlier that I thought this was not <clears throat> I thought it was 14 gauge it's not it's 12 gauge anyway there was there was outlets all over the place here up here where that light switch is used to be an outlet and there was three of them on the top and three of them down below like like this one here so I'm taking the three from the other side of the carport with the wiring bringing them over here and I'm putting them double I know you're wondering why in the world would you do that so I've got two outlets there two outlets there and this is where I'm at I'm still working on these right here two outlets I'm gonna carry it on around I'm gonna fall follow, follow this wire around the corner over here by the garage door there used to be a light switch and an outlet here that I moved inside the garage behind the wall there but I'm gonna bring those outlets and I'm gonna put one last outlet right here so my question to you <laughs> some of you some of you may know what I'm up to and some of you are probably shaking your head like, well, this guy's losing his mind. What's he doing? I'll show you in a later video why I'm doing this. Some of you may already have it figured out. But I'll give you a hint. It has to do with welding. And I can't say any more than that because somebody's, somebody's probably going to figure it out. Anyway... This light up here used to be way up in the front of the garage, up by the door. <clears throat> I moved it back here, and that's what's connected to this switch. So I can step out here and hit that switch, and it'll light up the front of the garage when, when I have that door shut and everything at night. I don't plan on using it too much. I took down those fluorescent lights I've got one other one I got to clean up there they used to be hanging up here and they were all wired in but I've used all that wiring over here for these outlets so anyway that's what I've been up to 
I want you guys to uh, put in the comments, put your guess if you uh, have an idea what the heck I'm up to. Why would I have two outlets right on top of each other like that? Anyway, I got to get back to work, guys. I'm beat. Just about to wrap it up for the day, but I wanted to show you that.